Welcome to the next generation of technology. Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Schultz, scientist, consultant, and a businessman, and I think I'm semi-retired. I do an awful lot of work uh, in the field of fiber optics. I've been involved in it since the very first fiber was made, and I've been continuing to work at it for the last 45 years. I was a young scientist. I had just joined Corning as a research scientist. I was about 24 years old. And one of the first projects that I was assigned was to try to see if we could make glass fiber optics so clear, so transparent, and so perfect in, in design that they could transmit laser beams without either absorbing them or distorting them. Two years later, we continued to work on this and try to improve it. And two years later, we came up with a composition for the glass that made the fiber even more transparent. It was perfect for communications. We all put our photographs into the cloud. Well, they go into one of these data centers. And then when you want to retrieve it, it has to come back out. That's a flow of information both ways. It takes a tremendous amount of bandwidth to keep up with everybody's requirement. We're deploying fiber like crazy all over the world right now. The Virgin Islands is one spot. There are enough fiber deployed already around the world to go to Mars and back. Round trip, 14 times. It's a lot of fiber. It was in the late 1980s, the first fiber communication undersea network was deployed. I became aware in the 2009, 2008 time frame that the federal government was going to grant money for state-of-the-art fiber communication networks to be built in areas that were either underserved or unserved. In 2009, we formed VINGN, Virgin Island Next Generation Network. Its purpose was to oversee these grants and to build this network and then to operate it. So starting in 2010, we started the actual construction and have been working on it diligently ever since. We just completed it. And we've completed our federal grant programs and the federal uh, agencies were very happy with our results. And now we just completed the last piece of that, building the undersea connections between St. Thomas and St. Croix St. John and Water Island. Each of those cables that we've laid across the sea has 24 fibers in it. Each one of those fibers is capable of one terabit per second of data transmission. A terabit. 
This communication network that we've installed brings us up to date. VINGN is the wholesaler supplying the conduit, the link, to be able to send that data, have those communications. And the service providers are the ones to use it and provide it to the end user. For the wonderful life that I've had here, this is one way that I can say thank you, uh, that this network is up and it's running and people are using it. And it's a lot of local people who have done that work and they should all be proud. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished. And I'd like to see the network truly utilized in a proper way so that every citizen here can benefit.